that away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's my week's groceries. There's my pension gone. That'll last me till Wednesday if I eat sparingly, have a couple of fast days. Most of that was cheap, past the sell-by date. Good evening, Alf. <laughs> Pint of best to make sure it is the best. Whatever you ask for, Mr Garnet, we don't cheat. You want to watch while I pour it? Take your word, it says what it says. <laughs> I don't taste like it. <laughs> Nothing's what it says it is these days, is it? And twice the price it should be. Same again, if you like. I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, half a bar I'm out, and I? I would if I could, you know that. I'll take a couple of my eggs back, if you like. <laughs> uh, Chub off in there, please, love. That's a bit of a tight half, isn't it? It's half. Only just. It's what you asked for. Yeah, all right, all right. I've been coming here all these years. You don't have to be so accurate, do you? You'll get me shot, you will. Yeah. Look after your regulars. Shouldn't need prompting. Look after your regulars. That's the way to run a business. If we had to rely on you as regulars, we wouldn't have a business worth running. Look, I've drunk more pints in here than you've had hot dinners, and by the shape of you, you've had plenty of those. <laughs> Drunk this bloody place dry some nights, I have. Built the foundation to your fortune, we have people like me and him. Not lately, you ain't. Well, it's not my fault, is it? I'm old age pension. I can't afford to drink like I used to. Well, it's probably better for you. How do you make that out? How is it better for me to have to give up the one thing I enjoy in life, eh? Well, you'll be healthier. Healthier's no good to be at my age, my dear. Richard, that's what I want to be. Bloody mad, you are. like that Edwina Curry with her salmonella. I mean, more people die around here because I can't afford eggs, not from eating them. <laughs> Free! Free! That's all I can afford to buy. And Mrs. Ollenbury wants one of them for a pudding. Oh, that'll be nice. Not the way she cooks oh. it, won't. <laughs> bloody pot it is. I've got to give up enjoying life so I can live longer. I mean, it's bloody mad. When I can afford to drink half, and there's always yelling out, Time, gentlemen, please. Closing time. Now I can't afford to drink. The bloody pubs are open all day. <laughs> Man, it is. And what am I saving myself for, eh? What am I saving myself? So I can sit here a few years longer and stare at empty glass. Give us it. Hey? <laughs> Your glass. <laughs> I'm not a bloody waiter, you know. <laughs> don't say I don't give you nothing. I'll we'll pull out the flags. Oh, you're so gracious, Mr Garnet. This is for you, Mr Johnson. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, working on my garden, he is. Yeah, I'm getting free drinks now. You see uh, my niece there? She's been asked to get them out. Out for page three. <laughs> no, I think she should. I'd be proud. Proud for the nation to see my niece's tits. <laughs> <laughs> now, that caption business they have, it's probably going to say on it, a soft spot for uncle. Yeah? And the um, editor's thinking of pioneering a whole new 3D techniques so they can pop out at you. <laughs> hey, you see these lads here? These are all Andy fellows that she picks up at the disco. That was the plumber. He done all my plumbing for me. He did my interior decorating. He painted the whole of the outside of my house. Put thousands on the value of it they have. You see, these lads, they want a bit of rumpo, a bit of nookie, but she gets them to work on the house first, you know. It's a pity your daughter wasn't more sensationally endowed. Could have done you a bit of good. Nice little earners, they are. She's all, eh? Hey? <laughs> Mate, she's a bloody whore. Yeah. Well, which of the mate when you come down to it? Now, listen, you know I work in insurance, don't you? You, you got them insured? Yes. <laughs> you can't insure... Tits, yes, you can, on a short term. <laughs> yeah, now, I think this is going to interest look, you, I don't Mr. want Garth. no insurance. I, look, uh, oh, God, here's your future and my past and present. She's been helping Mrs Ollingbury pack. Look, mind my eggs. Oh, your eggs. <coughs> yeah, uh, dear. <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, all ready for your excursion then, Mr Garnet? Uh, I hear you're going too, Arthur. Yeah, yeah well, I... He's... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need him with me, don't I? He's my best man. I mean, a woman likes to get married in white, and that is important, yes, but... man likes to have his best friend with him as his best man. Are you 
you don't mind? He says it's a long way to go on his own. On his own? Mm. He's going out there to get married. Look, I know that, but... He wants his friend with him. <laughs> <laughs> what are you snorting about? Well, most men, when they go on their honeymoons with their bride, can't wait to be alone with them, can they? Unless, of course, they've been getting plenty of carnal knowledge beforehand. You go and watch your back. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mrs. Ollenbury have never. Never. Well, there's a treat in store for you, Lord. Mrs. Ollenbury. <laughs> We've got too much respect for each other. Yeah. Don't you mind playing Gillsbury? Mm. Look, I'm not marrying Mrs. Ollenbury for a. Certainly not. But well, I think you'll be getting into training, Mr. Garnet, and go easy on that stuff. You don't want to get the old brewers, eh? Hey? <laughs> here, here, Arthur, with his bad hip, yeah. I think you're going to have to lift him on. Hand <laughs> <laughs> <And> off. <laughs> I bet that's why he's taking you out there, isn't it? Eh? A sex aid. <laughs> looking at. <laughs> well, I must say, I've never heard of that before. No. It's a new one on me. What is? Taking another person on honeymoon with you. Oh, she's going out there to relations, isn't she? I won't have no one, will I? You'll have Mrs Hollingbury. Mm. Mrs Hollingbury will be a relation yep. when you get to Australia. Not a proper relation. I, I'm talking about proper relations, people who like you. Well, what? So why? He's talking about people you like. <laughs> I'm talking about people who are close to you, like you grew up with, like her brother. She's got a brother out there, see? I won't have no one out there like that. Well, I'll be, I'll be out there all on my own in a strange country full of people that I don't know. Well, I haven't seen my brother for 30 years. I yeah. mean, he'd be almost a stranger to me. But he's blood and he loves you and he thinks the world of you. I won't have no one out there like that, will I? No. I mean, you, you'll have someone to talk to, see? I won't, will I? That's what I mean. Well, that'll be a blessing, then, if I don't have to listen to you. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I... I don't want to be all on my own, do I? Well, you don't do much to encourage anything else, do you? Love is lovelier the second time around. Oh, shut up! <laughs> I'll come with you. What do I want you out there with me for? Well, when Arthur gets tired of your ear bashing, I can take over. Relief listener. <laughs> Look, they wouldn't let you in. Sure, they're a bit, bit cleverer than we are in that respect. <laughs> <laughs> have you done your chores? What chores? A large whiskey, please. <laughs> What's yours? What's yours? Large gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Arthur, yeah. Arthur, I don't know how you can afford all that fare to Australia. I mean, my brother's paying for me and him, but... No, I, I that, no that's all right. Yeah, it's all right. He's yeah. got his ticket already. I mean, we're all going to be sitting together. Oh, I must say, I envy you. Nothing like that's ever happened to me. Well, you got married? Oh, yes, but only to Fred. <laughs> Blimey, she's only marrying him. I don't see a lot to envy there. So I don't I mean that. Of course there isn't, no. Eh? Hey? Well, what <laughs> Flying off into the sun to get married. Honeymoon in a strange and foreign land. I'm not being ungrateful. I've never been one to fret about the grass being greener elsewhere. Oh, I've always been one to accept what life has to offer and not mm. dwell on the unfairness of it all. <laughs> Make do and mend, that's what I've always oh. said. Get on oh. with things. Waste no time worrying about what might have been. <laughs> God gives us what he thinks we deserve. And, well, <laughs> it might seem a very oh. unjust punishment oh. at times, oh. but I prefer to see it as more of a penance than a punishment. Something we must suffer and bear for... His blessing and greater rewards above in his kingdom. We only pass this way once. Oh, God, God, why do you take her with you too? <laughs> These bloody church people, they want shooting the lot of them. They come banging on my door while I'm out and she lets them in. Filling her mind with a lot of bloody old rubbish about God and the hereafter. They've unsettled her, they've damaged her mind. I've told her. When, when, you're, when you're gone, I've told her, you're going to be worm food. That's all you'll be, worm food. Burnt you'll be. Oh. That's what you'll be when the devil gets hold of you. Burnt and serve you right. If you go before me, that's what you're going to be, is burnt. I'll see to that, because I'm going to have you cremated. You're going to be burnt here before you get down to your devil. Yeah, because I'm having you burnt here. You can't if she don't want to be. Oh, yeah, I can, because I'm her husband and she belongs to me, and nobody's going to tell me what's going to happen to her when she goes. And it'll be the flames for you, my dear, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you're wicked, wicked! Oh, yeah? And what about her, then, eh? Always on the me about how the devil's going to burn me. She has never stopped, she doesn't. Oh, I hope my prayers are answered. Uh, I hope the Lord is listening and answers oh, yeah, my yeah. prayers. 
Because if he does, it won't be me who goes mm. first. Oh, no. <laughs> It'll be you. <laughs> You're the one who'll take first <laughs> if he listens to me. <laughs> Johnson. Bloody Christians. No wonder Nero slung him to the lions. <laughs> he knows all about you. Don't you worry. He knows all about oh, you. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, yeah. sure he does, because he watches. He's everywhere. He keeps a close watch. Don't you worry, girl. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> The Lord, he might be everywhere, but I shouldn't think he frequents the place as Fred does. No. He wouldn't want to be in his company for too long. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> well, I'm sure he wouldn't bother with a pub like this for start off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to you. If he finds his point, this'll be the last bloody place he's coming to. <laughs> oh, you're right there, yeah, man. I mean, he might be old, God, but he don't have to live on a pension, does he? He'll afford a bloody sight better than this. You don't have to scrape out existence on supplementary benefit. I shouldn't think he ever leaves ever these days. Not the way things are down here. If he's got his sense, he wouldn't. I know I wouldn't if I was him. If you ever get there. Anyway, God is everywhere. Hallelujah. Not in this pub, he ain't, my dear. I'll wager you. He's everywhere. Well, your Catholic God might be everywhere, my dear, but our Church of England God, oh, Macy the Queen's God, <laughs> he's a bit more fussy, I think. There's no right? God. There ain't no God. And he's a bit choosier, too, about who he lets into his heaven. There's only one heaven! Oh, he's there? Yeah. Well, if there is, it don't belong to your Catholic God, and that's for certain, sure. Ah, oh, so do you think there are different heavens, dear? Well, you don't think Earl Macy the Queen, God bless her, or any of your royals, or any of your bishops, yeah, for that matter, yeah. would be seen dead in a Catholic heaven, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose there's an English heaven, then, is there? And an American heaven, and an Italian heaven, and a French heaven... And a black heaven! <laughs> a black heaven! <laughs> Good. At least I won't have to spend eternity with a bunch of geriatric onkies. <laughs> and at least I'll be able to play my music loud. In peace. <laughs> there ain't no heaven. Oh. Not for you, there might not be, no. Because whether the good Lord answers our prayers or not... Hallelujah. Shut up. The devil's got you fucking already. Don't you worry about that. You're going to feel his fork up your backside Hallelujah. before you have my shoulder. Don't you worry about that. And see how you like them apples. <laughs> well, we're going to miss you when you've gone, Mr Garnet, aren't we, Mabel? Oh, yes. Uh, how long have we got? Until he goes. Until he comes back. <laughs> we're going tomorrow morning. Oh, well, have a nice trip, yeah. if it's possible. <laughs> I'd have to sit in here on my own with him, then. No, dear, you don't have to come out with me. You know something I've often thought about? Do you have to take your wife with you? I mean, when you finally pass on, do you have to join up with her again for all eternity, or are you allowed a fresh start? <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think, doesn't it? Oh, dear. I never thought of that. <clears throat> I mean, that could be awkward with us marrying again. I mean, when we get to heaven, will we have to go back to our original husbands when we get up there? I don't know. don't know what the Lord's rule is on that. I mean, if it's divorce or adultery or, or fornication, that's old Nick's fault straight up. You're bumming on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see heaven. Let no man put asunder. But if, if it's till, till death do you part, I, I think that's allowed. Yeah, but do you have to go back to the first husband? Consummation, I think, would come into it. How much consummation you've given it? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> not a lot, I wouldn't have thought. Not with uh, probably none at all. <laughs> but mind what you're doing with that. <clears throat> well, what is it anyway? The groceries. Blimey, I mean, we're going to Australia in the morning. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I could have spent that money on duty free. Why didn't you remind me of silly great pudding? <laughs> bloody hell. Can't let it go to waste. As you said, there's probably stuff in there past sale by date. Here, let's have a big fry up. Take some bottles back. Yeah, what's the yeah. film? You know, I don't envy you, Mr. Garnet. I read a book about Australia once, you know. In the wet season, apparently the jungle encroaches on you at the rate of an inch every hour. And when it's hot and wet, it can creep in on you overnight. <laughs> in this book, it was about this fellow who went out the back one night to go to the dummy, that's what they call the lav out there, and the jungle came in on him while he was sitting there doing his business. <laughs> when they found him, well, they didn't find all of him, all they found was his leg. 
Just one leg, that was all that was left of him. How'd they know it was him? His wife recognised the darn in his sock. <laughs> I don't envy you going there, and I think uh, you shouldn't scoff at insurance going to a place like this. I've got something here, I think this will interest you, Mr Garnet. Here we are. If a croc should eat you, grieving relatives will collect £23,000. <laughs> uh, amount you pay for this, it's very cheap. £4.78. Now, that's not bad, is it? You want to get him to take this out. It'd be better than winning the pools, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, if anything happened to you, it might be handy to have a bit of insurance. You see, any of us could take out a policy on their lives. Hey, you wouldn't mind that, would you, Mr Garnet? If it don't cost too much mm. and it's no skin off your nose, then you never know. Planes do crash. That's right. <laughs> it's a million to one chance, right, that their plane crashes, crocs eat them, oh. shocks. But those million to one shots do come off. It's long odds, but the stake's low and it's worth a flutter. These are better odds than you get on a horse or dog. <laughs> I'll have a quid and all. Yeah, tell you what, Mr Johnson, can oh, you got a teller on that, yeah? Yeah. 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 Well, well, shall, shall we have a pound on it, have a little flutter? <laughs> I mean, you never know our luck. We might win. You. <laughs> Honestly, you're thick as two balls, you are. Don't you understand? It's us to be paying our on. We'd have to be dead to win. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Arthur. It's like a bloody loony been in here tonight. Oh, well. <laughs> Rubbish, that, isn't it? Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Think it's bad, eh? Yes. It's bad. <laughs> Got a long journey tomorrow. You're going in, Arthur. In a minute. <coughs> All 12. Yeah, mustn't keep you up. I'm tired. Yeah, me too. <coughs> Been a long day, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'll be off in a minute. <coughs> Not very good, that, is it? Nah. <laughs> Tired, Arthur. Go to bed. You going? In a minute. <laughs> he can let himself out. Look, I've got a bolt up, and I. I'll bolt up after. I'll bolt up after. He's going in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you going in, Arthur? <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> I think I've seen this before. <laughs> yeah. If it wasn't this, it was something very much like it. <laughs> he was in it, but I don't think she was. She's in it now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember him, though. I remember him. I remember seeing him. But not her. Not if it's the one I think it is. <laughs> oh, she's not new. I've seen her in things before. The one I'm thinking of was a lot taller. Yeah, well, some of them are taller. <laughs> what do you mean, taller? Well, they're not all as small as they seem. What is she talking about? They're all the same size. No, not all of them. Look, you can't be taller than what you are, can you? Arthur's taller. What do you... What do you mean, he's taller? Hey, how can he be taller? He's taller than you are. All right, he's taller than I am. He's also taller than you. He, he's only as tall as what he is. I mean, he, he can't grow taller, can he? No, nor can you. Look, <laughs> you said that she used to be taller. Not her. The one who was on there, you said she used to be taller. I said they're not all as small as they seem. Well, what does that mean? Well, Terry Wogan's a lot taller on Mr Johnson's telly than he is on your... <laughs> <laughs> Johnson's got a bigger screen than ours, that's why. And Terry Wogan's a lot fatter on Mr Johnson's telly, oh, too. Oh, Bennett. Yeah, what's going on out here? What's it got to do with you? Well, I'm trying to get some sleep in there, and I? I'm trying to sleep, too. You've got a lot of travelling to do tomorrow. Don't you tell me what i got to do. I know what i got to do. I've got to drag all the way out to Australia because her and her bloody brother. 
I'm too old for this sort of thing. Oh, you're too old for any sort of thing. <laughs> Look, <laughs> if your brother was loved you like he's supposed to love you, he wouldn't want us to go dragging all the way out of Australia. He's giving us money. Lending us, lending us, my dear, not giving us. Mr Garnet, can't you argue tomorrow? I'm trying to get some sleep. Look, if you don't like it, you can go sleep somewhere else. Am I looking forward to you leaving tomorrow? Woo! <laughs> Slam my door, you'll have to sleep somewhere else. <laughs> and I don't want no jiggery pottery while I'm away, neither. <laughs> I don't want to come home to a house full of AIDS. <laughs> it's all right, Mr. Garnet, I'm heterosexual. I don't care what you are, I don't want to catch it. <laughs> Chance would be a fine thing. <laughs> Slam my bloody door! <laughs> I'm turning off the electric and the gas. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> because he's frightened of flying. I am not frightened of flying. Well, why are you so keen to go by boat? I like boats. It's too slow by boat. And boats are fast now. It's not sailboats. It takes six weeks, my boat. Oh, we're not in any hurry, so long as we enjoy ourselves. Boats can sink. Look, why can't your brother just send the money over here? Because he's my favourite brother and he wants to see me get married. Look, I've told you, he's your only brother. And if he's so keen on you, why can't he come over here and see you get married? He's got his business to run. Yeah, and we're and the ones... He one... sent the tickets. Yeah, and we're the ones who got to drag all the way out to Australia. I, I've got to do all that travelling out of Australia and I'm tired, I am. Dead tired. I'll go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going, Arthur? <laughs> In a minute. <laughs> That's the one I mean, and she is taller. They <laughs> made her taller in this. <laughs> what have they done? Put all stung in her boots? <laughs> I've not seen her before. Oh, you must have. She's been in lots. Oh, she, she was a lot younger, too. I mean, not like she is now. No, she was in that, um... Oh, God, what's its name? Uh, uh, you know, they took it off. You remember it. Oh, you mean the, um, uh, where she came into the snow? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was on the horse? Yeah. And they went, fell in the snow drift? Yeah, yeah. Right up to there? Yeah. And then she came over? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't remember her in that. Not the one I'm thinking of. Well, she used to be his daughter. Not his daughter. But she was a lot younger then. I mean, so was he, if it's the same one. Look, come on, come on. I don't want to sit up all night watching telly. I think I remember this bit. So do I. I think. Do you? Yeah, I think so. That's not the one that used to be her father, is it? No, the other one. Oh, I'm tired. Go to bed. I can't, can I? <laughs> not with you and him. <laughs> Why not? Well, if, if I go to bed, it's you too, isn't it? Us too what? You know what I mean. Here, if you think... No, no, I, I mean... It, it won't be proprietary, will it? It'll be as proprietary as I want it to be. I don't mean that. I have seen this. It's him, isn't it, the butler? No, oh. oh, God, blimey, no, not him. I can't stand him. <laughs> no, I hate him. I don't want him on my telly. He's banned. I banned him. Here, yeah, I'm still watching that. Not him, you ain't not on my telly. Our telly? Mine. Listen, when we get married, the first thing I'm going to do is buy my own telly. Buy it? Buy it? Yeah, and you won't watch it. I don't want to watch it, my dear. I've got my own telly, haven't I? Yeah, and I'm going to get a great big screen. I, yeah. don't, want, I don't want no dwarfs on it. No, and well, you can get a great big licence of your own, too. Yeah, I'm fed up looking at midgets. Yeah, and you can buy your own earring at the same time. Yeah, but I'm going to buy a dish! I can buy Australia. Bloody women, what's got you, what's got up her nose? <laughs> Here, you can leave that thing on blaring all night. If I want to watch telly, my dear, I will. Well, turn it down, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Millwall supporters! Stars, well, silly bloody kill! <laughs> Why don't you shut up, cross 
Australia! Right! Bloody fix you, mate! Oh, bloody fix you, mate! Don't you worry! Daylight mill. <laughs> you soppy date. <laughs> I don't want to go bloody Australia. <laughs> That's why in sickness and in health I'll say I'll do 